Hey everybody, my name is Tony Saloom, founder of VAC Motorsports. Today we're doing a, a little introductory video to some of the products that we make and some of the products that we offer. As some of you know, this is our 39th year anniversary. June 15th, we've completed 39 years in business. So thank you to the existing customers and we look forward to having some more on board. Um, we, we are going to show some of the key products here today, one of them being the S54 Vanos hubs. So the Vanos hub that we make is a replacement, direct replacement, for the factory setup, which tends to have a very narrow drive over here. So the diameters are different, and the thickness is different. This is full billet, this is a forging from the factory. There are some versions out there that have a welded ring. And since the material is hardened, technically you should not weld hardened material. So ours are full billet, fully machined both sides. The grayish, the, the grayish finish that you see is actually from the nitriding, from the heat treat that the, that the uh, part undergoes afterwards. So what I want to show you is, although this is a different product, these are the crank hubs for the N54 and S55, I want to show you the different finishes. So this is before heat treat, and this is the same product after heat treat. So we use a, uh, a special nitriding process that gives us a nice surface hardness and it doesn't go too too deep into the product and so back to the s54 that's why it looks grayish in color so again unheat treated shiny heat treated tends to be more grayish and the gray can be slightly different depending on the process and how long it was in the oven so uh, some of the features of, of this hub and the biggest reason to change. Initially, the Vanos hubs would rattle and there's a ring, unfortunately, I don't have the ring with me here today, but there is a pump ring that slips onto here and there was too much clearance between the pump ring and the drive dogs, as we call them. So what we did is we increased the width of the drive dog to help eliminate the rattle and we also increase the diameter which gives it a lot more contact surface area and a lot less potential to fail. I mean at this point we've built thousands of these and we have not had one of these fail not once. So we feel that this is a bulletproof solution. The internal splines are just as OE and so everything is always nice smooth operation. And obviously the heat treating also affects the splines internally. So this is really the, uh, the big product of the day here for us is the Vanos hub. Some of these other products like I mentioned were the crank hubs that we make. Um, I can touch briefly, we can go more into detail, but the crank hubs that we make, you'll see that they are pinned. If you look here closely, we have some added material also to give them some extra strength. We also have a crank seal guard that we manufacture. We have a lip on the back, unlike many. This lip is actually a reverse engineering from the factory BMW tool. This lip is made and it's shorter than the seal setting tool that BMW makes, so there should be no interference. Again, we can do a separate product video on this, but this bolts on, it's made from one billet piece of material and the disc is about one inch thick and about five inches in diameter. So this is machined out of one solid piece of aluminum. Um, some of the other products on the table, we have precision turbochargers, tile wastegate valves. We've been a, a long time supplier and main distributor for CP Carrillo. We actually started our relationship with these guys 
in the late 90s and probably very you know very early 2000s is when we stepped it up big time with them so we have over 20 years of of relationship with them we have a lot of the products are specifically made to VAC standards but we obviously let the experts also fine-tune as they need um, we can do a specific piston video at some point the SP rods is an affordable level forged connecting rod that gives you nice flexibility very good power capacity and affordability another product that we uh, we we partnered with Tilton many many years ago on the using their clutches so the first time I actually got to use a Tilton clutch was back in 1997 1998 we were running some uh, race clutches in the two frame GT3 car and um, we just didn't have any success with the with the manufacturers at that point you had to use shims and yada yada it was quite an ordeal and we didn't have reliability they were very very rattly and we really couldn't make it much more than a weekend or two without having to touch our clutch and that's when we switched to Tilton we made our first flywheels since Tilton didn't make BMW flywheels and we haven't looked back Tilton is our clutch of choice for all race applications they are available in five and a half inch seven and a quarter um, we can do a, a product specific video that will show the hydraulic release bearings and the adapters that we make for that product um, really there are you know a bunch of other little products this one product here in specific is also a staple this product was born in 1999 when we were running our touring car and world challenge back in the day and we lost an oil pump quick story it was uh, Davy Jones the Davy Jones that everybody knows from uh, racing professionally in cart and so forth but Davy was actually driving the car at uh, Las Vegas with World Challenge Touring Car and the, we had an engine failure and when we took it apart we found that the pump had failed, the shaft had failed and that's when we came up with our new shafts they're internally threaded whereas the factory pumps, let me grab one actually, I think I have one over here that I can show you so this is the factory shafts have a relief behind the spline and then there's a relief behind the thread and the, mill and, and the nut that retains it is actually only about three millimeter thick. It's fine pitch, but what most people will do is they'll tighten it thinking, well, you know, I'm going to tighten it extra to make sure that this doesn't fail. Well, actually what you're actually doing is stretching the relief areas even more. So the root, the minor diameter on the shaft is much, much smaller than what we do. We have a full diameter over here. You can see where we call this like this posi drive design and we're internally threaded and we use bolts that are made for us by ARP and you can see this uh, left hand thread bolt 8 millimeter and it's also drilled for the people that like to safety wire them so this is a product that will basically make that shaft bulletproof um, from a camshaft perspective, we've been partners with uh, Shrick for many, many years, as well as Cat Cams. And basically, look, we, we cover the gamut from bumper to bumper. Um, although we can supply suspensions and so forth, we've been pretty much stereotyped as, as engine people. And if you take a look around, you will see engine equipment, you'll see machining equipment, and I guess that's why the stereotype is uh, not only do we sell the parts but we use the parts that we sell so if it doesn't go into one of our engines we don't sell it um, what I would like to uh, ask you guys as fans and you know you can email comment to our marketing department if there are products that you would like to see some reviews or information on please share if there's new product ideas that you have, something that we don't offer, please share. And for those that share a new product, if that comes to life, well, guess what? There's probably something in store for you.
So uh, we look forward to uh, doing more of these videos and sharing more of our information. I've never been a great guy in front of the camera, so hopefully I'm doing a good job for you folks. And uh, look forward to doing more. Thank you. Thanks for joining VAC with this video.